Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes China plays to unifying theme among Global South, it's not America. Beijing has impeded efforts to increase academic exchanges, US officials say. China needs a reset. She's got bigger problems. TikTok divestment push advances with House Committee approval. Japanese digital art exhibition explores AI risks in Shenzhen. China plays to unifying theme among Global South, it's not America. South China Morning Post. China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, has pledged to champion the Global South and portray China as a responsible world power. During a press conference, Wang said that China's diplomatic priorities for this year were to maintain stable relations with major powers, join hands with neighboring countries for progress, and strive for revitalization with the Global South. He emphasized that China wanted an equal and orderly multipolar world and inclusive economic globalization that benefits all. Wang's remarks were seen as a response to U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's recent comments about being at the table or on the menu in the international system. Beijing has impeded efforts to increase academic exchanges, U.S. officials say. South China Morning Post Chinese citizens are being harassed by their own government for participating in U.S.-led exchange programs, according to senior U.S. State Department officials. The officials accused Beijing of systematically reducing the number of people willing to work with U.S. partners on people-to-people exchanges through its foreign NGO law. The law, which came into effect in 2017, subjects foreign NGOs to close government scrutiny with stringent registration and reporting requirements. The comments come as both the US and China stress the importance of people-to-people exchange and the need to resume dialogue after years of COVID-19-related border closures. China needs a reset. She's got bigger problems. Bloomberg. China's decision to not name a new foreign minister at the National People's Congress is an indication that President Xi Jinping's prime concerns lie with domestic stability, according to Bloomberg Opinion. While the country's current foreign minister, Wang Yi, is well respected, China is losing friends and influence globally, and therefore needs a new envoy to reset the tone and work on creating goodwill. However, for now, domestic stability remains the priority, even as tensions escalate across the region. TikTok divestment push advances with House Committee approval. Bloomberg The U.S. Congress has moved closer to forcing TikTok's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, to sell the video-sharing platform due to national security concerns. The House Energy and Commerce Committee voted 50-0 in favor of legislation that would block app stores and internet service providers from offering TikTok. The bill would give ByteDance six months to divest from TikTok. Lawmakers have expressed concerns over TikTok's ties to China with fears that the Chinese government could collect personal data from American users and spread propaganda on the app. TikTok has consistently denied these allegations. Japanese digital art exhibition explores AI risks in Shenzhen. Nikkei Asia. Dato Manabe, founder of Japanese media art collective Rhizomatics, has warned that the boundaries between art and technology are becoming increasingly blurred with the rise of artificial intelligence, AI. Some artists have already had their work imitated or used without permission, he said, urging the serious consideration of AI regulation. Manabi's latest exhibition, Rhizomatics Multiplex Underscore 2023, being held in Shenzhen, China, is designed to give an insight into the hidden side of technology and its potential to induce new levels of consciousness. Congressional probe finds communications gear in Chinese cranes, raising spying concerns. CNN. An investigation by the House Committee on Homeland Security and House Select Committee on China has found that Chinese-made cranes used at U.S. ports contain unexplained communication equipment. The equipment, which includes cellular modems that can be used for remote communication, was not documented in any contract between U.S. ports and Chinese crane manufacturers at PMC, according to a congressional aide. The investigation has raised concerns that the cranes could be used for surveillance or sabotage by the Chinese Communist Party. Gen AI poised for rapid adoption in fight against online fraud, researchers say. 
South China Morning Post. More than 83% of organizations plan to use generative artificial intelligence, GenAI, to combat fraud over the next two years, according to a report by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, ACFE, and SAS. GenAI, which underpins chatbots like Microsoft-backed OpenAI's ChatGPT, has the potential to reverse some of the fraud driven by AI. However, the report also highlighted challenges to implementing GenAI solutions, with 60% of respondents citing output accuracy as a top concern. Other hurdles included security and data risks, regulatory concerns, and staff skill limitations. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the sixth dimension, here to bring you the latest news from around the world. Today, we saw China taking center stage as it emphasized its role as a responsible world power and champion of the global south. Meanwhile, tensions between China and the US continue to simmer, with accusations of Beijing impeding academic exchanges and the US Congress pushing for the divestment of TikTok. On the domestic front, China's focus on maintaining stability was evident with the decision not to name a new foreign minister. Lastly, we explored the blurred boundaries between art and technology in a Japanese exhibition and the potential spying concerns raised by Chinese-made cranes at US ports. Now, let's dive deeper into these stories. China's commitment to portraying itself as a responsible world power is a strategic move to rally support among developing nations and enhance its global influence. By focusing on the global south, China is playing to a unifying theme that contrasts with the perceived dominance of the United States. This move is driven by a desire for a multipolar world and inclusive economic globalization, which China believes will benefit all. However, China's efforts to impede academic exchanges with the US have raised concerns. The Chinese government's strict regulations on foreign NGOs have created obstacles for individuals who wish to participate in people-to-people -people exchanges. This not only hampers dialogue between the two countries but also limits the potential for mutual understanding and cooperation. On the domestic front, China's decision not to name a new foreign minister indicates that President Xi Jinping's focus is on maintaining stability within the country. While China may be losing friends and influence globally, the priority remains on addressing domestic challenges. This suggests that tensions in the region, such as those with Taiwan or in the South China Sea, are likely to remain high for the foreseeable future. Moving on to the US, the push to force TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, to divest from the platform reflects ongoing national security concerns. Lawmakers worry that the Chinese government could exploit TikTok to collect personal data from American users and spread propaganda. While TikTok has denied these allegations, the bill passed by the House Energy and Commerce Committee brings the divestment closer to reality. In the world of art and technology, the boundaries are becoming increasingly blurred with the rise of AI. An exhibition in Shenzhen, China, aims to shed light on the hidden side of technology and its potential impact on our consciousness. This serves as a reminder that as technology continues to advance, we must carefully consider the ethical and regulatory implications of AI. Lastly, concerns have been raised over Chinese-made cranes used at US ports, as they contain unexplained communication equipment. The possibility of surveillance or sabotage by the Chinese Communist Party is alarming and highlights the need for increased scrutiny and security measures. So, there you have it, a snapshot of the latest news from around the world. China's pursuit of a responsible global role, tensions between China and the US, and the intersection of art and technology are just a few of the topics we covered today. Now, I welcome you, my esteemed audience, to share your thoughts and questions. What are your perspectives on these developments? Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, 
it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.